Hey everyone, how's it going? So yes, I finished my 100 piece puzzle. It is a picture of our United States and it is beautiful. It is beautiful. I'm putting it together. And what I want you to do like right now, right now I want you to comment what state do you think I'm going to piece together last? What state will be the last piece that I put on the puzzle? And if you guess it right, oh my gosh, I'm going to be so happy. I'm going to be so excited and I might have a gift for you. So I want you to guess. I want you to guess out of all the states that we have in the United States, which state do you think I will piece together last? I really don't know myself right now because I'm going to just try to right now. All I have done is the outside, the corners of the puzzle. But at the end of this video, I'm going to let you watch me piece it together as quickly as I possibly can. And by the end of the video, we'll know the winner. We'll know the name of the state that I finished last. But right now, I have no clue. But what I do want to do is let you know that I have ordered this um, savings getaway. You may have seen it on my shop small haul that I did recently. I got it from Two Sister Bees and it's a savings getaway. And I'm going to be using it for a small getaway that I have planned out. I've already etched out my plans of where I'm going. I'm going to visit about five wonders and because March has been my frugal month, I plan small. You know, I made uh, $894 off of the 100 piece savings puzzle. I did that. If you saw the video yesterday, then you know that I saved $894. Out of that, $94 is going to go towards my debt. I just couldn't resist putting something towards debt. I'm working really hard to get my debt paid off. So you'll see that put inside of a debt video upcoming. But the $800 will be going towards a small getaway that I'm going to do right here in my home state of Alabama. Right here in my home state of Alabama. And it's amazing what your state has that you've never seen before. And so I was able to map out about I think six locations that I can visit right here in the state of Alabama using my minimal budget of $800. But I'm going to have just a little bit extra. I'm going to create a buffer and I'm going to put something aside for my excursions and my activities if I decide to have any. And I'll go over this budget just a little bit later. But talking about this savings getaway dice game, it's a board. And I'm going to use one of my little small dice that I have here because I just feel like it's a small getaway and I'm going to use a small dice. So it says roll your dice, but I'm only going to roll one because I'm going to go through this board twice. So the four, first time I go through the board, I'm going to be saving for my excursions and my activities. The next time I go through the board, I'm going to be saving for my buffer, my... um trip has already been planned out. It's not going to be a long extended stay. I'm using the $800. 250 will go towards gas. 300 will go towards lodging. 200 will go towards food. $25 will go towards clothing if I need anything. Shoes receive $10. Gifts $10 and souvenirs $5. And I may or may not need all of this for each of these categories and that's fine. But if I need to go over in either category, then hopefully the buffer that I um, saved today will go towards that. And also for my excursions or activities, you know, sometimes they have where you can do different activities at these uh, special locations. So if that's the case, I want to have just a little bit of money put aside to do that. I don't have a miscellaneous um, section, so my buffer hopefully will cover that. And if I have to pull from another category to make it up, then I might just do that as well. But the places that I'm going to visit are, they're, they're listed as some of Alabama's small wonders. And as you know, part of my 2024 goals is to visit some of the world's wonders of the world. So I had 15 on my list. 
but ironically, I didn't have any that was listed in Alabama. So I decided to look up some wonders of Alabama and I found some. So I cannot, and you know what? One of them is only like 30 minutes away from me. How could I ever not have known that? So look up your state and see what little small wonders um, are in your state and take a trip to them. It can be a small, short getaway. That's what I want to do. But today I'm going to be rolling for my buffer and my excursion and I'm going to use the Two Sister B's savings getaway to do that. I'm not sure how much money I have here. This is some leftover bartending tip money that I had. Let's see how much we're working with. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 110, 15, 20, 25, 30, 130, 131, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. 141 dollars is what I have here before me. And I'm going to use this dice to move the spaces and I'm going to use this dice to roll. Let me channel you in because I know these dice are really, really small. I know that. I do know that. So let me try to roll within the spot. Two spaces. Can y'all see it? There it is. It kind of disappeared in the camera. Two spaces. So am I supposed to go one, two or one, two? What did you think? Okay. One, two. So that's two spaces. So that's $2. And we are doing, um, the buffer. We're doing the buffer right now. I know I said it backwards earlier, but we're doing the buffer. So let's go. That's one. Did it roll off camera? One space, three. One, two, three. So I'm going to go ahead and take this $5 and put it back and just get a five. Let's roll again. I'm going to go through the whole board. Hold on, let me scoot you out just a little bit, just a little bit. All right, one, okay. Move one space, that's a dollar. Uh-oh, I moved the wrong one. Here we go. Four, let's see. One, one two, three, four. That's another dollar. Three. One, two, three. Three for three dollars. Two, three. And I'm gonna do this. That's five dollars. And I'm gonna put this here. That's ten dollars. So I'm gonna put that back and I'm gonna grab a ten. All right, here we go. Two. One, two. Uh, two for two dollars. One, two. Let's roll. Three. One, two, three. One dollar. Let's roll. I wanted to get one of the Bon Voyages. Five. One, two, three, four, five. That is three dollars. One, two, three. All right. I think I can make a five. One, two, three, four, five. And we will get five. So now we have sixteen dollars. Let's roll. We're almost at the end. Four. One, two, three, four. Yay! I got a Bon Voyage. It says, let me roll it up here. I got a Bon Voyage. It says, enjoy the ride. Save based on your current weather. $5 for sunny, $10 for rain, $3 for snow, $4 for other. Right now, when I'm doing this, it is sunny. So we will save $5. And I'm going to take this 20. This is 10, 15, 20. Put the two fives back. Put the 10 back. And I'm going to grab a 20. So now we have $21 for buffer. And last, here we go. Uh-oh, I'm rolling the wrong one. I'm supposed to roll this way. Two. One, two. We're saving two more dollars. And let's roll this last time and see what we equal up with. Six. One, two, and we got to start at the top. Three, four, five, and six. All right, and that is for one dollar. So for our buffer, we will 
be taking with us. 21, 2, 3, and 4. $24. Not a lot for a buffer, but it will work today because I don't want to spend much. This is a frugal spending mini vacation in my home state. So $24 has been dedicated to buffer. All right, we will set that aside. Let's start at start and let's roll, let's roll. A one, which is one, so that's one dollar. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's three dollars. We are rolling now for excursions and activities. Did I roll the wrong one? Yeah. Okay. Three. One, two, three. Ah, oh, it's a bun voyage. It says pack your bags, roll your dice two times, and save the amount rolled. Okay, so let's roll it two times. It's the first time. That's six dollars. Let's roll it one more time. And that's three dollars. One, two, uh oh. Let me give it a five and get two dollars back. And we may be able to make some change. Let's see that's five, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I'll put the two fives back and get a ten. So we have thirteen dollars and we are ready to roll. Four. One, two, three, four. Man, I asked for bun voyages. Make some um, oh, sorry. Make some memories. Save based on how many photos you took this past week. OMG. Let me look really quick. How many photos did I take this past week? Ooh. Oh my gosh. Let's see. This past week? Or can I do yesterday? So, this past week. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. I took twelve pictures this week. Yee. -ye. One, two, that's ten, eleven, twelve. Mixed with this is 10, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 25. So we're going to put this change back and get a 20 and a 5. All right. Let's roll. You have to be careful what you ask for, huh? <laughs> 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. That's $1. We're almost towards the end. Another five. One, two, three, four, five. That's three dollars. Now we are at twenty-five, six, seven, eight, twenty-nine dollars in our excursions and activities. Let's roll. Maybe for the last time. Four. One, two, three, and four. That's three dollars. One, two, three. Let me see if I can grab us some change. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So I can keep the 20 and put back the 10 and get a 10. So we have 32. All right, last roll because we have not reached the end yet and it's probably going to take us back around there. So here we go. Two. One and two. That's a dollar. All right, so for excursions and activities, we have 20, 31, 32, 33. $33 to go towards that. So that takes my budget. This is 800 and 820. Let's see. $857 is going to be my total of what I will have on this probably two day or three day little journey across Alabama. Not going far, but 
far enough to have to maybe need lodging and of course food and definitely gas. But the others are pure options for me. I may or may not use that money, but if I don't use it, I'll bring it back and I'll put it towards something else, a sinking fund for something else. But stick around, you guys. I hope you have guessed the state that you think I'm going to um, put together last in the puzzle. And if you like this little savings getaway, it does come with an uh, envelope. It comes with two of these trackers, which the trackers are actually... Um, tracking the money that you're saving in this challenge, but I'm using mine as a, a key, as it were, to what I can and cannot spend on this trip. And then when I come back, I'm going to put what balances I have over here. So that's what I'm going to do. That's, that's my plan. I'm going to put in the amount that I budgeted for that category, and then I'm going to put in the balance and see what I have left. But the total that I'll be taking along with me is $857. And what I may end up doing is putting everything on a credit card. Oh, I just hate to even say that, and I'm working towards paying off debt. But that may be the easier thing for me to do, and then just pay everything back by cash. I don't know. But either way, we are going to take this 24 and this $33 and we're going to put it towards my $800 budget and I'll see how it goes. But this is from Two Sister Bees and it was fun. I like it. And I think I'm going to use it in the future for some more of my getaways. But for now, we will be um, preparing for our trip probably sometime in April. I'm not sure when exactly, but very soon because it won't take, it, it's not like it's going to take us away for weeks you know a week at a time or something like that but we'll see how it goes stick around you guys and i hope one of you win i hope you guess the right state adios for now see you at the end see you at the end and we got the outside piece put together and we got the outside. now i gotta work on the inside So if you guessed Colorado would be the last state that I pieced together in this magnificent puzzle, yay, you win, you win. Colorado is the winner. And look, you guys, there's another beautiful puzzle for my wall of fame. Thanks for watching.